Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. My DIY forest animal miniatures for D&D is actually the video I made with more views. So I said, Minsk, why don't we make a second episode with savanna animals? And Minsk said, let's do it! So take your Minsk as a reference and let's start making some cardboard bases for your animals. We need one huge base, two medium bases and five large bases. Let's begin with the rhinoceros. He is a large creature, so he needs a large base. I started making 14 foil legs I glued on the base. Then I made a big tinfoil body, a tinfoil neck and a tinfoil head, so I glued everything together using some hot glue. At the end I shaped everything with more hot glue. And I also glued two small horns made from a toothpick. Now it's time to cover everything with some toilet paper drenched in a mixture of water and PVA glue. I will show you the toilet paper applying only for the rhino, because it is the same for every animal and it is also pretty easy. I didn't cover the horns, so they will seem sharper. I also made two small ears and a tail using the toilet paper. Then I painted it and this is the final result. The second animal is the hippo. I made four smaller legs, a bigger body and a fat head using tinfoil and I shaped everything with some hot glue.
Then I covered everything with the toilet paper, giving him two small ears and a small tail. And I painted it. The third animal is a wildebeest. I made two legs using tinfoil and two legs using a toothpick. The body is made out of tinfoil, as the neck, the head and also the horns. Everything was shaped using some hot glue and then completely covered with drenched toilet paper I also used it to make the ears and the tail. This is the final result. The next animal is the king of the savanna, the lion. All the body is made using tinfoil, except for the tail, the ears and the mane. I made using the toilet paper drenched in the mixture of water and PVA glue. And this is our lion. After the lion, I made a smaller carnivore, the hyena. The crafting of this animal is really similar to the lion crafting, but the neck is longer, and it has the mane only above the neck and the back.
The sixth animal is the crocodile. I made all the body using tinfoil and I glued everything on the large cardboard base. After covering everything with the toilet paper, I painted it. Now, it's time for the biggest animal of the savanna, the elephant. It has four legs and a big body made of tinfoil. Maybe I made the legs too long. But if you fit the body below the legs, it will seem bigger and stronger. Obviously, you have to shape everything with some hot glue. Then I also made a tinfoil head, two toothpick fangs and two tinfoil ears. Pretty big, isn't it? I covered everything with the toilet paper, except for the fangs, and I also gave him a small tail. And this is a elephant. The last one is a flying creature, a vulture. I made the body and the head using tinfoil, and I cut the wings and the tail out of cardboard. I also gave in two small legs that I will shape in clothes using some hot glue.
Then I made a base for a flying creature using some not so hot glue and I glued everything together using some hotter hot glue. Everything was then covered with the toilet paper, and our vulture is ready to eat some dead creatures. Bonus! If you have come this far, I will give you a bonus animal miniature. This is not a savanna animal, but it's still a big and dangerous predator for our adventurers. Can you guess what animal it is? I take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you like this video, and to write in the comment section if you would like to see a third episode where I will craft polar animals, or maybe underwater animals, or maybe dinosaurs. See you next time!
Tina Oliva. 